What's good, hip hop fam? So, Shadrack's own Lil Dirk has been arrested on an alleged murder for higher involvement for attempting to kill rapper Quando Rondo. Quando's cousin Lil Pop was murdered, which supposedly was an alleged target of retaliation for King Von's murder. Your boy went down, and now rappers and celebrities are coming out the woodworks reacting to it. This is just. Yes, Broward. He's in Florida. I got his. I got the whole thing on. I, look on my stream. I got it. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> bro, I pulled it up myself, my nigga. He's locked up, nigga. I got the whole shit. The mug show. Oh, no. a superseding indictment so it's gonna take i mean you could probably tell me i don't know if you know anybody who would know so now he's arrested in broward county the u.s marshals got him he's probably gonna waive all his rights right because he's not gonna fight extradition coming back to cali he's, he's gonna he's gonna go back to cali they're gonna waive waive the right to have a court hearing for extradition they're gonna go go to cali and then cali they're gonna unseal his indictment which is a superseding indictment because he's not on the one that got unsealed today so when he's on the unsealed indictment i expect one more person with him or two more and then we're gonna be very clear on who's a snitch facts so they're gonna they're gonna lock up one more person i think everything proper than this no, no, well, it wouldn't mean it's not no full shit. Hold on, hold on. Well, it would... These niggas giving up information. No, ain't nobody laughing at dirt like they were laughing at me when I went to jail. I <laughs> know what happened. So ain't nobody laughing at dirt. Now it ain't funny. Now your favorite rapper go to jail and look like he got a no bond like me. <laughs> that boy got a better with no bond. Ooh, I bet that nigga ass hold and closed up. He got a burp to pass that. <laughs> he can't even fart out his ass. I know, I know the feeling. Boy, they get your ass and they put a hole on you. Boy, nigga booty be tight and the motherfucker sitting on that bench. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Now, all y'all who said my time coming for saying King Von, saying fuck King Von, all his time coming. They go get him. Drake time came for saying fuck Tuka. Or uh, this is common. I, I don't know. Y'all be so hypocritical when it comes to your favorite rapper. I don't even know. <laughs> it ain't the same and it ain't worth it. It ain't. Fuck it ain't the same. It ain't worth it right now. The game, the game ain't, the game ain't the game no more. They playing by new rules out here. So you got to just back up off of everything. Bye bye. You know what I'm saying? And I want you to think smarter, like prevention before care. I want you to think of preventing something before you have to carry it, before you have to get in a situation and be like, fuck, I gotta figure this out. Prevent that motherfucker. Start thinking like that. Like, you know what? We ain't gonna put that, we ain't gonna go over there and put us in a situation we go shoot this nigga. Or make sure I don't go over there to go do this with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I gotta start thinking of prevention before care. It's gonna help y'all so much more in life. You know what I mean? Nigga ain't gonna tell y'all that. These old niggas stupid out of here. The ones out there, if I could say y'all niggas from getting a 25 to life, uh, 100, 100, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because my pops got 120, my brothers got 98, all this other crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, my little brothers, them niggas come three years, three years, old niggas got years, niggas fighting cases, it's a bunch of shit, you know what I'm saying? And if I could prevent y'all niggas just from having some knowledge or knowing, like, yo, these niggas out here snitching. Hey, man. When it comes to Dirk and Quando Rondo beat, I don't have to choose sides because we as Muslims supposed to put our law first. That's first and foremost, John. I don't gotta choose no side when it comes to my brothers. I supposed to try to make amends in peace. No matter who have died, no matter what problems have occurred, no matter what happened, we as Muslim, as people that's striving in the cause of our law are supposed to fight for peace, bro. We supposed to fight for Conciliation between our brothers, smell me forgiveness of one another. Cause we all gonna die. We all gonna meet our Lord and He the biggest judge. I know these courthouses are taking us apart, but our Lord gonna judge us one day, you smell me? Like we all gonna die. The Prophet Muhammad said, Wise man remember death. 
So listen, dog. I ain't on that type of time. You did, dog. I ain't gotta keep beefing with no nigga being mad. This is what I'm on. I'm on Muslim time, and I'm staying on that. You have to have your own earth, man. Your own earth is your turf. Now we gonna break this down for example, cause it's the situation. Them young guys had beef. What was a young boy and um. Put me on game. It was Young Boy and uh, Dirk had beef, huh? Well, rapping beef, right? And then King Bun ended up fighting the Quando Rondo guy. And then somebody got King Bun. Somebody killed King Bun. And then just get back on the dude who killed King Bun. Is the dude who killed King Bun dead or somebody else? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But either way it go, man. One dead, two in jail. NBA young boy, Dirk, King Von Paz. Let's stop this, man. Let's stop the madness. Think about King Von. Now, Mo Gangit, lawyer from NY who works for Lawyer for Workers, got those skills to break down celebrity indictments. Mo broke down Lil Dirk's indictment on social media, and it's not looking good for the young G. Let me know how y'all feel about Lil Dirk's arrest and charges in the comments. Y'all think this is affiliation with the Quando Rondo situation? Or are y'all like innocent until proven guilty? Free smirk. Let's chop it up. Catch y'all in the next video. That's about Little Dirk being indicted. Let's get into the facts. There is an indictment out in California. It's federal. It includes a charge. Murder for hire. Murder for hire resulting in death is punishable by life in prison. Now, in the indictment out in California, there are five people named. None of those people is Little Dirk. There is, however, in that indictment, a mention to other conspirators. Those people could be named. They have not been named yet. What do the feds say about this conspiracy? They take you back to 2020 and the murder of King Vaughn. Then they say that after Vaughn was murdered, a high-ranking member of OTF let it be known that there was a bounty on the head of, indiv of an individual involved in that King Von murder. That's believed to be Quando Rondo. So reading between the lines of the indictment, the feds are saying that Dirk put money on Rondo's head. Then the feds say that two years later, five people from Chicago with some other conspirators traveled to LA, attempted to murder Quando Rondo, hit somebody else who was standing right next to Quando's car. The feds have a lot of evidence. They've got plane tickets. They say the plane tickets were purchased using an OTF associated credit card. They say the gun was supplied by an OTF associate. They have five people in custody. They're probably gonna get some more and then they're gonna start squeezing on people and say, hey, have you seen this man? Does he run this crew? Did he provide some money to you?